what is going on people for today's video i'm going to be going out and catching some blue crabs for you guys Deep crabs that are just five inches here in delaware so i'm going to be using one large crab pot guys and then i'll be mainly just using hand lines and then just a couple other little net rigs i've got um it's an extremely extremely windy day guys but i'm hoping we can still get into the crabs guys um i do have a couple fishing poles with me i may try fishing but we'll see how that goes guys like i said it's very windy so it's going to be hard to fish and uh, that's the main reason I'm not fishing today. I even had the kayak, but I decided I'm not going to use the kayak because it's way too windy to even try to deal with that. So I'm just going to be doing everything off of shore. And for today's video, I'm also going to be doing a catching cook for you guys. So once I catch these crabs, guys, I'm going to keep them on ice, keep them cool, keep them alive. And I'm going to take them back to my house and show you guys how to steam them up, how to cook them. Stay tuned, guys. Alrighty folks, I'm now out to the spot where I'm going to go ahead and get, start getting some hand line set up, get the crab pot out there, and hopefully we can get on some crabs guys. Alright, let's see what we got down here in the net guys. Got a nice one. Nice. It's gonna be a keeper. All right, guys. Looks like he's gonna be the first keeper. Say five and a half, guys. Five and a half is my prediction. Definitely a keeper. They're definitely gonna be the five inches, that's for sure. But we'll see if he's gonna be that keeper size. So when I call one down there, so now what I'm gonna do? Having catch them down here. What I'm gonna do now is obviously. Take one of my lines and I'm just gonna start moving down, guys. Five and a half, guys. But he's a five and a half, pretty much exactly like I said. So I knew when I'm down here, guys, this thing is pulled tight as can be. I'm pretty sure it's got one on it. Let's see if we can get him up here without losing it. Cause he looks like he's wrapped himself in a branch here. That is actually good. Oh man, he is giant though, I can see him. Oh my God, if I can just catch this crab guy. I don't know if you guys were able to see him and all that, but he is big as can be. I mean big. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go guys, look at this crab. Let's go. He got himself wrapped in there. Had himself wrapped up in that little tree branch. I was able to get him out guys. Wow, look at the size of this guy. Whew. Six inch crab guys, he's exactly six inches, but look at those claws and everything. He's the one meaty son of a gun. So hopefully he'll just drop out. That's number two guys. That was a big one guys. That is what I'm talking about. And we got one here, guys. Let's see. Immature, immature female. We'll just go ahead and get her back. This one feels like a decent sized one, guys. Let's see what we get him up here. Yes, yes. Look at that, guys. Caught them mating. Caught two of them. Caught the male and the female, guys. Both of them together. Obviously, that male is going to be a keeper. Caught them together. They were actually mating. While he while he caught that while he bit that piece of chicken, guys, so that he's gonna be a keeper. I'm almost certain of that, and then we'll have to release that female. All right, five and three quarters, guys. So this is the, gonna be the third keeper, five and three quarters. All 
Well, all right, people. I'm getting ready to wrap it up out here on the water today. I'm gonna go ahead, head back, and like I said, guys, and get those crabs cooked up for you. Um, basically, right now, guys, I just checked this. I just checked the large crab pot uh, 15, 15, 20 minutes ago. About 15, 20 minutes ago, and I did have I have one keeper in there, and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and just check all the hand lines, get them packed up, get everything else packed up, and then on the way out, I'll, I'll uh, pull it. So I did have the one keeper in there. So I know there's gonna be at least one keeper in there. Hopefully at least one or two more got in there, guys. That'd be great. That The one that's in there is gonna give us four total. Um, all of them are pretty decent sized crabs though. The six inch here, five, two, five and a half. And this one looks like it's gonna be about five and a quarter, five and a half. Um, but let's go ahead and get it pulled in, guys. Hopefully there's another one or two more in there. Yeah, that's all it was, just the one. I'm getting off the water now, guys. I'm gonna be heading back home. You guys stay tuned. I'm gonna cook these bad boys up, show them how, show you guys how it's done. All you're gonna need is a little bit of beer and some old bay, guys. Butter, vinegar is optional if you, for dipping. Any kind of beer. This is optional as well. You can use water, but I like to use beer. I think it's a little bit better. Beer and the necessity of old bay. Gotta have some old bay, guys. People, I'm back at the house now, and I'm getting ready to show you the cooking part of this video, guys. So this is going to be super simple. Obviously, the size of the pot is going to matter on how many crabs you got. I've only got four crabs, so I just need uh, I just need this little thing here. This little six-inch pot is going to be work perfect for this guy. But obviously, I've done up to about I've done up to a dozen crabs in it before. Um, so if you need to do more, what you can do is you can just do a dozen and then do another dozen. Your choice for today is going to be uh, Corona, guys. If you can't buy alcohol because you're not 21 or you just choose you don't want to buy alcohol, that's fine. Um, you can just use regular water. All you're going to be doing is just putting a little bit in the, into the bottom of the, uh, the pot. And then you're going to be creating, letting it boil, letting it steam. Put a lid on top and letting it create a good steam in that pot. So let's go ahead guys, we're going to get this pot filled up with the, uh, with the beer. And then we're going to go ahead and let it get boiled. Nice slow pour, that way you're not creating too much foam. Turn on high first, just so it gets warm. Once our beer starts boiling, then we'll start putting our crabs in there. Um, so what I did guys, I actually had a water jug that was frozen with me the, uh, throughout today, and I kept it in the bucket with them. I obviously didn't stay frozen the whole time, but the water's still very cool. Um, it still helped keep them lethargic, keep them fresh. Um, they're all still alive, I just did check on them. They're going to be really slow. They're going to be really lethargic. They're not going to be fighting. So that way when they get in there, they're not going to be squirming around the pot. They're not going to be sitting there and fighting with each other and tearing each other claws off and, and whatnot. So I do recommend, guys, if you're going to go out and catch a lot of crabs, take a big cooler and get some ice, guys. And that's really going to help you. And you do want to keep them alive, guys. If they're not alive, I, don't, I honestly don't even steam them. And just because you don't know how long they've been dead all right guys so i do want to mention you don't want to keep it on high the whole time i just turned it on high at first just to get it started then i moved it down just a little bit above medium oh yeah that's what i'm talking about There's nothing better than the smell of boiling corona guys. the red i like to go two minutes past that and that way i know everything in there is good and done you also want to check if you're cooking a lot it's going to take a lot longer a lot longer and you also want to check some are going to be cooked a lot faster she's steaming she's ready let's get the first one in there all right guys first one in keep the old bed layered up on it guys just keep a nice little layer like that get old bay on him all right they all look good and done now guys let me go ahead and get them out of here You can either melt some butter, get some vinegar, and then kind of mix that with Old Bay, and that's a good dipping sauce. Well, all right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy these crabs. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't done so already, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out weekly videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time out on the water.